We now know positional encodings, multi-header tension, masked multi-header tension, and the last ingredient we need in order to understand this monstrosity is called, uh, and it is really the last one, is called cross attention. And that happens here in this, in this little node here. So um, let me just briefly recap, but in the paper, attention is all you need. And that one of the tasks that they particularly focus on is machine translation. So what you will have is you will have here an input sentence consisting of some words. And what you're trying to do is to predict the output translation for that sentence. And you would think of this as the encoder, exactly like we had with encoder decoder models. And this is the decoder. And now what you're going to do is in the decoder, you're going to perform attention over things that happened in the encoder. Okay, and that's called um, cross attention. At the bottom layers here, you have masked multi-head attention so that you can't look into the future of the words that you've already produced in the translated language. But then you are going to use uh, cross attention here to look back on what happened in my encoded sentence. Okay, this will become clear. Let me uh, draw a, a simpler diagram which showcases it a little bit more. Okay, so here I've simplified it. We're just using um, a single head and uh, we don't have some of the other stuff on that diagram. I've just simplified it so that we can just understand cross attention. Okay, so what's going to happen is, so this is my encoder over my input sentence. I hit my gegooi. Okay, and then this is the decoder which produces my output sentence, which in the ideal case is he through me. Okay, end of sentence. Okay. Now the bottom parts of the encoder and the bottom parts of the decoder, they are just going to be um, standard self-attention. Okay, so I'm going to calculate this vector and I've simplified it because this vector is really, you know, the weighted value vector based on these things. Okay, but you now know that. Okay, so for each of these, you get um, value, key, query, do the dot product, softmax and then get a weighted value vector here okay and for the encoder i just do that in a, the standard way so this one would be a weighted sum of this 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 and this is uh, value vectors you with me decoder again standard self-attention but m with masking so if i'm trying to predict this word me i'm not allowed to use um, things that happen at the next time step okay which would be really easy because that is the word me, so it would be quite easy to figure out that I should output me at this position, so you're allowing the model to cheat. Okay, so we're doing masking there. Okay, cool. So we're now at this layer, and we want to calculate the layer above that in our decoder. Now this layer is going to take into account the bottom parts of our decoder model, but this layer is also going to be allowed um, well, it's actually explicitly going to do attention over the last layer in our encoder. Okay, so what you're going to do is the following. We've calculated this vector, this vector, this vector, and this vector based on um, self-attention here. Okay. Now for this vector, and now I am going to explicitly just um, scribble out the, the queries and the keys. For this vector, I'm going to project it to a query vector. Okay. Now what we would normally do is take the dot product of this with the other stuff in the sequence, but we're not going to do that, right? We're not going to do the dot product of the query with this key, this key, and this key, and this key, no. We're going to take the dot product of this thing with, with this thing's key. So I'm going to extract a key for this one. I'm going to extract a key for this one, okay? You know, following that, the, the standard um, matrix operations there. So I'm multiplying this thing with some matrix to get that, this thing with that same matrix to get that, that, this thing with that same matrix to get that. And we end up with a, a sequence of keys. And now instead of doing dot product, dot product, dot product, okay, which would be invalid anyway because of um, this thing isn't causal, okay? But instead of doing that, I'm going to do dot product, dot product, dot product, dot product, okay? And that's going to give me the weights. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the value vector here, the value vector here, and so forth. And I'm going to weigh that with the score that I get from the dot products of the query with the corresponding keys. 
Okay? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a weighted sum of these red value vectors, and that is what I'm going to put there. Tunk, 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 and tunk. Okay. So you get your you get your scores by doing this, and that's why it's called cross attention, right? I'm doing attention from the decoder to the encoder and I'm doing this 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 so I'm not doing it's not really self-attention anymore okay and that's then how I get the output for that one same thing for the second time step I get my blue vector dunk 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 okay and what they actually do is they do that multiple times again with multiple heads okay so you get multi-head cross attention and that's what they do in the and the model there um, I want to show you one little thing here, which would maybe tie it together. This is the diagram from, from the Google blog post that talks about um, transformer models. I want you to see that uh, the, the cross attention part of it. Okay, so I'm going to show you that diagram. And their diagram is a little bit flipped. It's like almost upside down from mine. So where I have my encoder going from the bottom to the top, what they do is they start here at the encoding state and then build it up down and then at some point they loop back and the decoder is somewhere in the middle but I just want you to see this so that's the encoder part that's the words that are coming in and here what you're doing is you're doing self attention so to get the next layer in the encoder you're basically just taking a weighted average of what came before it okay and it's and you can do that over the entire thing so it doesn't need to be causal now with the decoder what you will see is they don't look into the future. So they only look at what happened in the past. There's no, like, some of those squiggly lines looking into the future because you don't have them. Okay? Um, and the other thing that you can see here is the cross attention. The cross attention are the, like, straight lines coming from the top. Uh, did you see it? Okay, we can run through that again. And then here you can see that they're using masked attention within the decoder layer with the, with the bended lines while doing cross attention with the straight lines coming from the top. Okay, so it's a pretty neat um, little diagram summarizing the entire encoder-decoder um, model.